Welcome to Fast Cabling, where we push the boundaries of technology to keep you ahead of the curve. Today in this video, we're diving into a challenge in perimeter surveillance, extending your reach to monitor remote sites effectively. So we are tasked with the vital mission of monitoring multiple sites along a perimeter that stretches for a kilometer. Yes, you heard it right, 1,000 meters of strategic surveillance. Sounds daunting, right? But not with the technology that we're about to unpack. So let's get started. So in our customer's case, our mission is clear. Monitoring multiple sites along the perimeter. Now here's the control room, and the distance between the control room and the monitoring size is 1,000 meters. And with the power available, we decide to mount a PDZ camera up high on this pole. So with one camera, we are able to monitor multiple sites at once. So why a PDZ camera, you may ask? So let's zoom in to the advantages. Now, PDC stands for Pan, Till, and Zoom. These cameras are powerhouses capable of monitoring vast areas up to 200 meters away and also come equipped with impressive night vision capability extending up to 150 meters. So a single camera that can pivot to any point of interest, they're able to pan, till, and has 30 times optical zoom capability, so you can zoom in or out as needed, offering unparalleled surveillance coverage. But the magic truly happens when we unleash the tourist setting feature. Now with preset points, our PDC camera can effortlessly patrol the area, making it an indispensable asset for remote sites monitoring. And I'm going to show you how to set it later, but first, how do we control and receive footage from a camera that is 1,000 meters away? Traditional cabling may fall short since copper cable has distance limitation. And the solution? Fiber optic technology. Fiber optic cable paired with fiber media converters. Now, fiber optic cables are capable of transmitting data over long distances without loss of quality, offering unmatched transmission speed and bandwidth over vast distances, making them perfect for our scenario here. And paired with the fiber media converters, which convert the status signal from our PDZ camera into a fiber optic compatible signal. So we can easily bridge the 1000 meters gap between our camera and the control room. This draw breaks the distance barrier, ensuring crystal clear surveillance feedback. Not only maintain the high quality video feed over a long distance, but also ensure real time monitoring without lag, which is very crucial for our security purposes. So now we have moved in front of the demonstration board so I can show you how our setup will look like. We have a PDZ camera already mounted on a pole. Within, we have the fiber media converter, and we're using this 300 meters fiber optic cable for the connection. So let's do it from the beginning, step by step. We have the NVR to display video footage from the PDZ camera. Now this is our WebSmart PoE switch. Not only has Ethernet port, but also can be equipped with SFP slots. Let me connect the WebSmart PoE switch to the NVR first. But before we connect to our fiber optic cable, we'll need an SFP transceiver. This is where we connect to the fiber optic cable. Today we are using an LC connector single mode four string fiber optic cable. Let's use string C. It has letters on each string. And since this is pre-made, we don't need to worry about the connector. It's 100% tested in the factory. Our fiber optic cable provides lightning fast data transmission, immunity to electromagnetic interference, and also the ability to cover distances traditional cable could only dream of. And also ensure the reliability and efficiency of our surveillance system. So looking under here, we have our hero, our outdoor fiber PoE media converter. Now this is IP67 waterproof rated. 
But first I'm going to take out the neck and the gland for easier installation. But when you do the setup, make sure you use a wrench to fasten them up tightly so nothing could get in. Let's open it up. I already pulled all the cables within the pole. First we're going to power up our fiber media converter. So we can see the indicated lights is on. Next, we're going to do the same thing with the SFP transceiver. We have the Ethernet port and the SFP slot. So let's plug it in. Remember which strain do we use? Yes, strain C. So let's plug it inside the SFP transceiver. Last but not least, this is an Ethernet cable connected to the PDZ camera. Plug it in. We can see all the Intel lights are on. Our PDZ camera is receiving the data and the power that it needs. So I'm going to put it back in. So looking at our monitor, our PDZ camera, it is ready. And I'm going to show you this is a live video feed by waving my hand here. And next, I'm going to show you how to set the tour setting. So now we are going to set our tour setting using this PDZ control keyboard. I already power it up and connect it to our WebSmart PUE switch. So let's see how it works. Now you can zoom. Pan and tilt using this control. It's pretty fun, right? So let me set the preset point one. I'm going to zoom on this row right here. Since it has an incredible article zoom capability, you can even see the car and the person walking by. Now I'm going to set preset point one. First hit the preset button, type one and hit the enter button, which is the circle one here. So this is our preset point one. Again, preset one, enter. Move on, we are going to set preset point two. Let's say we look at the plant of our indoor. So this is a preset point two, hit preset two, enter. One more time, the preset, number two, and enter it. Let's set one more point. So let's, oh, this is already zoomed out. Whoops. Too fast. So let's zoom a little bit. All right. So this is our preset point three facing me. Preset three. Enter. Let's do it one more time. Preset three, enter. So now we're going to look at the preset point. How? By pressing shoot. Let's say point one, hit enter. Shoot one, enter. Remember this is where we set for the preset point one. If you want to see number two, shoot, two, enter. Huh, so here we have the plant. Shoot, three, enter. Again, this is preset point three. Not only you can set those preset points, you can also make them into a rotation. Just simply hit shoot 88 and enter now it will go from preset point 1 to 10 automatically now our PDZ camera isn't just about wide coverage it's also smart 
with the tour setting feature, now you can program the camera to automatically rotate between preset point of interest, ensuring continuous surveillance of critical areas without manual intervention. This means our camera can automatically keep an eye on the entire perimeter, from the fence line to specific point of interest, with seamless precision. So extending your surveillance reach with fiber optic technology not only solves the distance problem, but also unlocks new possibility for remote monitoring, ensuring your perimeter is not just watch, but truly secure. So that's how you bridge the gap in surveillance coverage, ensuring no corner is left unguarded, no matter the distance. So thank you very much for joining us. If you have a perimeter challenge of your own, please feel free to reach out for a free tag consultation. And before you go, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more tag insight. And until next time, stay savvy.